Hello, this is Miss Tracy from K-12 Next Generation. And I promised my students in Africa that today we would start actually learning what chip trading was all about. So, you need to have your chip trading boards. And it would be good if you had either a pair of dice, which I put over here, or a deck, a deck of cards making sure you take out the 10, jack, queen, king, and then you just have the ace of the nine. Okay. You also just need to take a piece of paper and uh, fold it so that you have lots of sections like this so that you can use it a number of times. Mm -hmm. And I just fold it in half and fold it in a half again and again. And I use it as a score um, board, and when you're scoring, it kind of looks like something like this. Mm -hmm. And so, we're going to use this, and another thing that I often will do is I will just very lightly draw a line, sort of down the middle, so I know where my ones are, and my tens because those are the only two place values that I'm going to be using today. I'm just going to be using my ones and my tens today. Okay. Right. Now, when you chip tr trade, it's nice to do it with a per another person. You can do it with one other person or you can do it with four other people. It doesn't matter. And you take your dice and you're going to roll them. Now, if I get more than a 10 for right now, I'm just going to re-roll them because I really don't want a 10. Um, and that's why I have you take out the 10s in your deck of cards. So let's see what I end up rolling. Okay. I have a 2 and a 3. So in my 1s, I'm going to put in 2, and three, and I know that two and three is five. So I'm going to just put five up here. Let's say that I have five ones. Then when it's my turn again, before it's my turn, I'm going to write down that I have five ones. I keep forgetting that I'm scoring this. Okay. So I have five ones, and I'm going to add something to it. And what am I going to add to my five ones? Well, let's see. Uh, I'm going to add nine to it. Okay. So I'm going to add five more ones. One, two, three, four, five. And I'm going to add four. One, two, three. And I'm going to put a 9 here. And I'm going to take this off the board because obviously I don't have 5 now. But what do I have on this board? Well, I have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. I have 14. I have 14 on this board. All right. Let's put on number 14. Now I have two numbers in one place value, and I can't have that because that means I have what's called an illegal board, and the chip trading sheriff will come and take me away. I, but notice, in the number ten, uh, 14, we know that we have four ones and one ten. So if I leave four ones here, I'm taking off how many? Well. If my rule is consistent that one blue is going to equal ten yellows, then I should have ten yellows here. So let's see if I do. Two, four, six, eight, and ten. I do. So I can take these yellow ones and trade it for a blue. Because it means the same thing. 
10 yellows equals one blue. I put one blue there. And now I can see that the 5 plus the 9 that I added equals 1 10 and 4 1s, the 14. And when I do that on a piece of paper, it looks like this. I hope you can see this. I have the 5 plus the 9, and that equals 14, so I put a 4 in the 1s column, and I carry the 1 into the 10s column. 1 and a 0 is 1, and then I have 14. Okay. Notice that I use the term carry, because that's what I'm doing. When I trade in 10 yellows for blue, I am actually carrying over those 10 ones into the tens column and substituting it for blue. Okay. All right, let's see what happens on my next ball. Whoa, I got a 12, and I don't want that right now, so I'm going to pick that up. Although I think very soon we'll do that, but not yet. Okay, I have a 3. So I need to add 3. 1, 2, 3 there. And I now have 2, 4, 6, 7. I need to take this off and put a 7 there. It doesn't change my tens at all. And so if I add, if I add three to fourteen, in my ones column, four plus three is seven. In my tens column, I just bring that ten down, and I have seventeen. I have seventeen here, I have seventeen here. Understand how this works? It's pretty fun, and it's not that difficult. Let's see what we get. Okay. This time I threw a 5. So to my 7, I need to add 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So all together, how many do I have in here? I'm going to take my seven off because that's not what I have anymore. I have two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. All right, now I have twelve. I'm just going to flip this over for now because I don't want to look at that. I just want to look at the twelve that I have in the ones. Okay. Well, put this over this way. 12, which I can't have because it's illegal, so I'm actually going to end up putting it over here. But to be able to put this over here, then I need to take off 10 of these, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, and that will leave me two ones, and I need to put the one 10 over here. Okay. And flipping this one over and adding them together, I know that 1 plus 1 is equal to 2. And if I can find my 2 card, that would be really good, which I can't write off. So we'll just have to pretend for a minute that it's there. Probably on the floor, yeah. Hang on a sec. And see. Ah, that's exactly where it was. On the floor. Now I have two tens. So that equals 20. Well, let's see if it does when I do it on paper as well. I'm going to put five ones in the ones column, and I'm going to add seven plus five, we know is twelve. So we put two in the ones column and one in the tens column. And now I have to add the two ones together, one plus one, and that equals two. So here, when I do it on paper, it equals 22. And on my chipboard, it equals 22. 
And that's basically the foundation behind what carrying is all about. It's about when I get an illegal board, because I have more than 10 yellow chips, that I have to make a trade. 10 of those yellow ones for a blue one, and then I carry that blue one over and add it in here. And so now what I'd like you to do is to find a partner and play for about 10 minutes. I'm going to do a game about 10 minutes every day until I send you your next video and you get pretty used to an understanding the carrying from the ones to the tens. And as you do that, um, think about the reason why you are making that trade. And use cards, if you have some, okay, to help you so you can see the number on the board. And then make sure you keep score. The score is really not important as far as winning or losing the game. It's just to help you be able to physically see and do the carrying. And if you do it right, and you keep your board legal, then each of you is a winner. Until next time, this is Miss Tracy saying, have a good evening.